So, yo, this is, by the time y'all hear us, right? Mm-hmm. It was probably going to be the last few days of the year. This whole year is done. 2023 last is Man, in the bag already. Gee, yeah. what time, though? Flu, bro, we flu. We, we been through some. We saw some shits, you know. Oh, it was, it was oh, a very uh, eventful, eventful year. Yeah, yeah man. This fourth quarter been crazy. <laughs> crazy mm-hmm. shots been fired. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> chickens coming home to roost. Yeah, man. So, um, yeah. So we have a best of, right? Fly nerd certified best of. 2023. Sure. We all have our list mm-hmm. of things. I'm going to go over a few of my things. I hope you guys go over a few of your things. For sure. Um, we could probably start off with the top five albums. Y'all, okay. y'all got some albums? No. I'll go, I'll go, since it's the music thing, I'll go first. Uh-huh. Um, first, I want to shout out Vic Spencer for Psychological Chi Chi 4. Um, one of the plentiful um, albums that this brother had dropped this year. Um, every time I link up with Vic, it's always cool because he'll play me albums for the future. <laughs> so mm-hmm. it feel like I'm a variant. Just right, like, listen, right, right, right. like, oh man. He's like, dude, this is 2026. Like, oh shit, I right, for sure. And that's really dope to hear creative create music that um, you could play later that year yeah. and he don't get tired of it and no one gets tired of it you know what i mean so um vic spencer psychological chi chi four is on my list mm-hmm. um killer mike michael that was on my list um yeah. i think that was a very uh full album in, in regards to album artists is not making albums like that anymore mm-hmm. and i mean just like you know it's not just a bunch of songs or you know your favorite hit or your commercial song or you know eps and nothing like this it's right. a full-fledged album that you listen from front to back mm-hmm. and um that's what killer mike did with michael and um i liked it it was pretty dope pretty hard hard-hitting shit Spitting, singing, melodies, all of that above. He's uh, Dungeon Family Greatest. Right. Um, you know, right there, outcast to motherfucking run the jewels. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, Killer Mike had scientists and engineers who are Andre 3000 on there who did a very tough verse. Uh, and then he went back to his flutes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a different conversation. So, um, y'all haven't checked out Killer Mike Michael. Go ahead. Right after that, I got Black Thought, Glorious Game. Well, actually, I'll up it. I was just going to the Andre 3000 album. Um, was it? Um, New Blue Sun. Yeah. Um, he announced... Killer Mike announced the album that Kill, uh, Andre 3000 were working on the project. I thought it was going to be a rap album. I was geeked to hear it. Mm. But it was a flute album instead. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Shit, that's my hit. <laughs> so, right, you know, right, right. I listen to it, it's a good vibe. <laughs> you know, it was flutes, you know, it was a good, good little little joint. So, you know, I put that on there just to be courageous, staring and actually being an artist and putting your um art out there. Mm-hmm. And actually, yeah, I was selling all the rap. So you kinda did your thing, hitting a new market with your new um new venue and new gym. Um venture into your new music craft so shout out to Andre 2000 then I'll talk about Black Thought Glorious Game um it was pretty dope Black Thought um you know he rarely do solo albums and stuff like that so um he did the Train of Thought series but then he did this Glorious Game Glen, Glorious Game project and it came out really dope man it's one of my favorite shits that came out this year because yeah. of course Black Thought is going to hit with the bars. Like, there's no no doubt on that. You know, mm-hmm. there's no doubt on that. So, dope production, dope delivery. Um, yeah, that's about it. For sure. For me. What about y'all? Y'all got any music? Uh, for me, I'm going to second you about the new blue sign. Like I said, ain't nothing but uh, elevated, you know, artsy, chill, poetic type jazzy flute type stuff but at the same time too there's some beauty behind it because if you've seen or heard you've got the likes of like Yassan Bay from the Nose of Most Def you know rhyme off of it 
I want to say Lupe did a rhyme off of a uh, show too some time ago as well. Mm. And it's like those tunes, I mean, they're not just for the sake of melody, they're for the sake of creativity also. So anybody who really got that rhyme set can really vibe off that type of stuff. So I'm going to definitely put that up there. I'm going to sec you also with uh, the Killer Mike joint. That was a really nice, thought provoking album. Dug that mostly. And um L. Michael's Affair is the producers for the Black Thought Glorious Game. I forgot to mention that. But yeah, kill him Mike, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, you're good. No, I, I I agree with every assessment with that, because you know, Mike, he just got that nice little storytelling flow. Yeah. You know, whether he's with Run the Jewels or whether he's just by himself or you know, done the grand third all, man, Right, kind of like right. Stylist to me, he he, he like hella stylist. universal. So yeah. uh, that's what I'm digging. So those were the main two that I vibe off of. Any uh, mentions on music, Corey? Uh just the one. Uh, only only album I can say I listened to that was new this year. Now again, making a threesome is three three peat. It's the flute album. Flute album was really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, chill vibes. Uh, I was really pro this album. I kind of felt like our music needed this kind of like breather, mm-hmm. kind of something really new, different and fresh with all the stuff going on in our music right now. Uh, I know a lot of people, a lot of people were not on board right away with it, but I think it was actually pretty good. And nice uh, breath of fresh air. Um, I dug it. Like like Chauncey said, good vibes and everything. All right, so let's move on. Um, what's what's next on the list? What's best movies of 2020? Oh, boy. It's going to be very... Yeah, that's why I want to get that one out the way so we can get on this. Fly Nerd Certified Movies. Who want to go first? Should I go first? You go first? I rock it here. You rock it here. Uh, right. Let's see. Best joint for me overall, I'm going John Wick 4. Oh. This on my list. Okay. John Wick 4, you know, is definitely the series itself, especially this last one. I like how everything tied in, how the world is so vast. It's not just your wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, action assassin type movie. There is nice storytelling and whether or not, you know, you're a Keanu fan or you one of those who want to throw crap and shade and mock his acting style. He brought some gravitas to his character. That's why he got four movies. And he, <clears throat> in my opinion, has revitalized the action film genre. Yeah, I mean, he's the only one standing. You know, we talked about this before. What happened to the action movies? You know, is it because of cartoon, not cartoon, but action, comic book movies? Have they replaced the actual action flick? what's going on here. So, you know, um, that was one of the questions I always ask because this particular franchise still stands. John oh, yeah. Wick is solid, you know what I mean? Yep. And you can't deny it from the villain to the hero, the hero journey to the villain journey, you know, everything in between when it comes to action sequences, you, there is no question. You could doubt some of this. Now, as uh, John, uh, coaches will say, there's a lot of shooting going on, <laughs> a lot of shooting going on, a lot of blocking. There's a lot of right. getting hit by a solid car just uh, full on, uh, head on. A lot of lead poison. Yeah, a lot of right, lead right, poison right, 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 going right. on. You know, you'll call out the flowers. But that's the thing about action movies. You know, mm-hmm. it's like the Gene Claude Van Damme's and the fake ass Steven Seagal movies oh, and shit. <laughs> Never gets hit by the bad guy. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> Top sway, top 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 top. Turn around. Well, he literally fought one window. guy <laughs> sitting in the chair recently. One of his movies, he's old as he is, fat as he is, fought a guy sitting down and won. Just, just I quit. Get off me. Get off me. No thanks. Get off me. That's chair fool. You don't know that shit. Right. 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 I don't know. Right. It don't right. exist. Right. right. You play gal. I'm going to use chair fool on gal here. Yeah, it ain't going to work. Right. right. <laughs> Get off me, gal. So, <laughs> so now, nah, man, um, John Wick 4, I have to agree. That's on my list of one mm. of the top. Fly Nerd certified movies of 2023. Yes, sir. What else on your list? Uh, what else on my list? Oh, hell. Uh, shoot, I'm going to flex it a little bit on the horror side of things. Well, oh, I, I got see. two joints. Here we go. 
Uh, I'm gonna go with Talk to Me as one of my top horror joints. And this one was, you know, one of those bad out of hell type movies where it's like, you know, what the hell is going on? But then again, too, you know, it's like one of those visually stunning joints. Okay. And it just. What what is it? Is it demons? Is it... Uh yeah, it's like basically after I like love the watching these demons, boy. Ah, is 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 what happened? Isn't oh it? no, this is a dope. This the one. Oh, yeah, I didn't see this. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. This is like you know the whole stupid games win stupid prizes type uh, thing. Here we yeah. go. I think that's the title of the pod today. <laughs> the games win super prizes. <laughs> I mean, because hell, definitely that. Because hell, if you remember, obviously, what happened to the scariest movies of all time, aka the Exorcist. She wanted to play uh, mm-hmm. footsie with the Ouija board, and you saw what happened with that. Kind of similar yeah. one with this concept mm-hmm. here, too. Mm-hmm. But except the crazy part is, with us being in the modern era, they, you know, got to go social media famous with it. They got to get all crazy and, you know, freak out. That's what we were talking out. about earlier. All uh-huh. this information, you're doing shit for the ground. Right. And you're selling uh-huh. your soul right in front of people's eyes. And no exactly. one can save you. No one can save you after mm-hmm. all that, because at the end of the day, you're still alone with this demon. Yep. Jeez. So, uh, yeah, man, I'm going to check this out. I meant to see this. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. Is it on the streamer yet? Or? Uh, it should be on the streamer by now, if I'm not mistaken. And, of course, this is another winner, courtesy of A24. Yeah. So, no, A24 is just A24, killing it. A24, shout out to A24, man. They yep. are the new. They are the new. I fuck with them. Um, oh, now, man. this one... This next one, or next couple, I should say, I was kind of torn between, but I think I'm going to choose one or the other anyway. I'm going with uh, Thanksgiving for my next one. And I say that because nigga, to me... that's to me, nigga. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. To me... <laughs> okay, go ahead. I no feel shame. like... No shame. It's one of the better slashers that I've seen in quite a while since the screen movies in general and just the fact that it totally tried something new and that granted yeah it's kind of their satirical way of poking fun at like halloween but also says something too if you sit back and watch the movie also about the whole thing of consumerism and the evils that are involved in consumerism and i, I dug it for what it was i dug yeah, it for what it did yeah. and it's yeah. like you know, regardless of what I think or feel personally of someone like uh, Eli Roth, I give credit where credit is due. He, he did what he did with this movie. I, I just mean, And yeah, the kills were, to me, hella original and hella cool. So, yeah. Word. So, okay. Um, so, that's your list so far? You got yeah. any shout-outs? Well, let me do, let me do a couple. Before we yeah, go <clears throat> So, yeah, I had a list. John Wick 4 is definitely on the certified uh, list. Um, another movie I had was Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Yep. Right, that right. was one of my favorites. Um, if y'all didn't check that out, check it out. It really focused on Rocket Raccoon, his backstory. And, um, you know, it's get a little hard stringy. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I, so, I, I never thought I'd be emotionally invested in Rocket like that. Yeah, and yeah. same either. And that shows and goes to show how... You write story, and yes. James Gunn definitely wrote that. And character, and put it, yeah, and focus on character and character development, and yeah, to wrap it up in a bow, he did that. So on um, Guardians three, we talked about this, so you can check out previous episodes as well. Mm. Um, another movie on my list was Extraction two. Oh yes, sir. oh yeah, Extraction two. Yes, sir. That was on my list. Um, um, starring Chris Hemsworth, uh, who directed that? Uh, was it? It wasn't the Russos, but did they produce it? No, they produced it. They produced, they produced it. it. So, um, yeah, if you haven't seen Extraction One, it's on Netflix along with Extraction Two. Do a double feature, uh, worth it. Watch. It's worth it. It's Absolutely. very worth it. Um, the action scenes in here is very intense to a point like yo, like yo. That. Like, when you show me you fighting for your life and shit, those the type of scenes that I really like. Those really close. I'm fighting for my life, you mm-hmm. know, and it shows, you know, that, you know, like from John Wick, 
you see the invincible pow, 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 I'm taking yeah. all the bullets, I'm gonna yeah. fight you, I'm not gonna stop till you're dead. All right, that's cool. But here is more like we're fighting, we're fighting, and one okay, of us gonna have down. to live, go one go of us far. gonna have to stand, right. keep standing. So go we'll hard, say, go home. Yeah, you know. So um, that's definitely what I felt about Extraction Two. We the definitely, train fight, yeah, oh, that yeah, train, train fight. fight. That shit Woo! was crazy. Yep. So nah, that's on our list, and we definitely talked about these movies too. So you could rewind and check out previous episodes of Flying Nerd Group on the YouTuber. Mm -hmm. So uh, another one, I, I got horror. I yeah, got horror. I will, you got um, me. No one will save you. No one will save you. That was a um, shot. Coachy, shout out to Coachies. He uh, recommended that, and I checked it out. And yeah, that motherfucker was scary as fuck, dude. Like, it gave me some, you know, I had nightmares. I guess I had nightmares. <laughs> like, fuck with me. I don't like those aliens, man. Those little weird the grays, aliens. The the grays, they, are, they are spooky man. to me, man. I'll take a kill. I'll take a robot. I'll take a Decepticon Megatron. What's up, G? What's up? We got to get <laughs> oh, yeah. the cars, what's up? Nah, man, Doom show up. I'm running. I'm good. I don't know, cause they weird, man. And that's what happened in the movie. It was very like it was singular. What's it was name? Just a girl. No one will save you. It's on Hulu. No one will ever save you. One of those two. And it's on Hulu. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's very singular about the girl. Alien invasion, and pretty much she's running, trying not to get invaded. Or trying not to get abducted. Mm -hmm. And, you know, things happen. So, uh, yeah, check it out. That's really good. We talked about this before, so rewind. And the last one on my list is Transformers Rise of the Beast. Fly Nerd Certified. Yeah. Say the best for last. Um, when it comes to Transformers movies, we even talked about this on previous episodes as well. I've been dissatisfied with the movie since maybe the first Transformer movie, man. I mean, like, it hasn't just been hitting. And when I say hitting, it's like the director understands the mission, the concept mm -hmm. of the Transformers, the concept of the 80s, or, you know, the franchise itself and what yeah. it means to the fans. You know, similar to, like, what Marvel did and does. <laughs> DC sometimes, you know, um, Invincible, of course, Boys, of course, you know, when you get these franchises, you got to do diligence, yeah. especially to your fan base. If you want to be successful and win, if you're just going off of just making a movie and just, hey, this is all the sponsors are sponsoring to this cash cow ticket, everybody's mm -hmm. just going to go and see it so we can do whatever we want. Right. And that's when your movies just fall down the hole. So you took this franchise. How many Transformers movies has there been? It's supposed before? to be seven. Yeah, seven. seven. Yeah. So oh, not pretty much on that murder. No, seven. Yep, seven. I'm so sure. Bay did five. Yep, they did five. Press five. Okay, so yeah, then Bumblebee and then that kind of did yeah, the soft okay. reboot. All right, so yeah, Rise of the Beast to me is one um, the director got the got the memo. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the director was a fan. Yeah, he was a fan. You could tell. Because, I mean, he had Essence of Unicron in there. And even when you listen to it, if you're familiar with Transformers, the movie... 86, baby. 86. Did 86. Unicron right. <laughs> yeah. But you'll hear some of the music from the 80s movie when Unicron mm -hmm. appeared on Rise of the Beast. And that's like, ah, that's hard. That's tough. That's tough. So, you know, those little type little nuances yes, really got me. Oh, And, and the and Transformers are recognizable. Oh yeah, and the director was a brother, Robert, and he yeah. did a bang up job on the soundtrack, bringing yep. back nineties classics. Yep. Exactly, I was just gonna say that you hear uh, like car scenes with um, the choice is yours. You uh -huh. know what I mean? Open up with Cream, Wu Tang, yeah. and shit. You know what I mean? It's in the nineties. Black Planets was up in there. Planets, Black Sheep. Yeah, Black Sheep. So you know. He was the real little SWV up in there. Hey, man, it was all there. We yeah, always good. listening to that shit, yep. so don't even front. No, I sure. Good music, good music, good music. Ain't mm -hmm. like what it is now, motherfucker. So, no, uh, Stephen Capel Jr. was the director. Yep. So, you know, um, shout out to him. Fly Nerd Certified. We certified this when it came out because I was like, this is a real Transformer movie. And yes, I was with it. I watched this movie numerous times mm -hmm. because this is how Transformers should be. 
moving forward, I hope you do the G.I. Joe thing, too. So, um, yeah, that's me for movies. What about you, Corey? You got a list? Uh, joints? Kind of. I have a... That's a I, we had a lot of stuff this year. Um, well, first, let's go to horror. I have a horror pick also. Okay. Uh, my horror pick is Megan. Oh, oh really? Yeah, okay. Megan. Um, I thought mm-hmm. Megan was interesting. The, the Sassy Robot thing I thought was funny, but the I thought the cool robot. thing was really t- t- touching on us relying too much on technology right. and having our kids raised off screens and whatnot to kind of talk to that uh, topic. And that and the character and the and how we use technology to interact with it and how some of us are overly dependent on it or kind of lose touch of the human touch and dealing with people mm-hmm. they, didn't, they didn't want to deal with machines more so that I, I did like the movie and I thought it was kind of interesting uh, better than not what I thought it was so yeah. Megan was my horror pick mm-hmm. for this year okay. uh, another movie on my list is Outlaw Johnny Black mm. uh, shout out to Michael J. White, White uh, I'm yeah. glad he's able to do his movie do what he wanted to do hey, I wanted... hey, not to cut you off what if they recast him with Michael J. White no no? No. All right, move forward. <laughs> um, I'm glad he's able to do the movies he wanted to do and take risks and have fun. They had a right. really good cast, and they did something really cool. And to me, it's, that should be Flatner certified. Please see, please see how long it is. It's I, very just, I just recently bought it on stream. Yeah, that's me too, and I liked it. And I, was, yeah. I was going to put it on the list, but I kind of figured one of you guys was going to do it. So, yeah. Yeah, we saw it. Um, also my list, of course, uh, one of my biggest ones also, like you said, Kai, the Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Yeah. Um, this is the first film I, well, no, second film I really felt happy what I saw on screen and the characters I saw, I recognized most of them. I wasn't like upset or cringed or, you know, disappointed mostly. What uh, was your first? Huh? Bumblebee. Okay. So when I saw Fair Bumblebee, enough. I was Same. extremely happy with what Same. I saw on the screen. Yeah, I, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. That's fine. But given the crap we've gotten from the Bayverse stuff, yeah, and Bumblebee to see was that, really that was kind of like, wow, yeah, there's Braun. <laughs> you can feel this. There's Thundercracker. Oh, Darcy. Right, right, right. Proud. Oh, shit. Yeah, there's Ravage. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, we got Ravage here. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, so, okay, okay, okay. So. Um, I think we're moving away to somewhat piggyback what you said, although I know you're not 100 percent of every movie we, that's been coming out recently. But I think the Bayverse is the last remnant of, remnant of that, or we're getting people in studios making stuff how they want to do it, despite whatever the franchise did before. And that's how and Michael, it, Bay, and it Michael not, Bay was doing the movies he wanted. No, he's not even too. a fan. He don't, he don't even well, like G1. Right. right. He even said on record, he don't, he don't even like the G1 cartoon. Right. He thinks yeah, it's stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it shows. So I'll give him the first film. I kind of like three, but everything else is garbage. Yeah. Mm. Um, so when we got Rise of the Beast, and I was doing like this, going to the theater, hoping it was good. We're also getting G1 characters and Beast Wars characters. The movie isn't perfect, but pretty damn good based off before the stuff we've gotten in the past. Yeah. It's pretty good. I've watched it several times already. And the, one of the, the cool things I like about the film, they let um, Peter Cullen act. Not after Prime mm-hmm. being over there or die being his nor- one normal shall line. Sin, one shall fall. And that's all his lines through every movie. He was actually a character in the film had development and interacted with Freedom the human characters right for, every all, sentient being. for all sentient beings. And the humans were not the main character. The robots were the main character, as yeah. every Transformer yeah. film should be. Yeah. Shout so. out to Peter Cullen for his lifetime achievement. Award. Absolutely, so, that absolutely, too. absolutely, absolutely. Give it up, give it up, yeah. give it up. And I have so many, but my last film is going to be Spider-Man and Thought Spider-Verse. Oh, good one, good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. If you want to know more, hit me up on social media. Yeah. Uh, real quick, honorable <laughs> mentions, Cross Spider-Verse is on there. Uh-huh. Uh, also, along with, believe it or not, Super Mario Brothers movie. Yeah, and Teenage Mutant yeah. Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. I still need to see that one. All yes. three animated. I didn't finish that one. All three fun in their own right. Nobody bit off nobody. There's a lot of cool stuff. Get cool music in there, cool voiceover talent, and you can have fun. Uh-huh. You can just love it for what it is. You ain't got to be all, oops, oh, this is just kids' movies. No. If you got a kid inside of you, let it out. Have some fun. With it. You got a heart in the brain. Have some fun. Shit, I can watch Mario Brothers. There you go. 
Absolutely. Fun. But, I mean, if you ever play the video game, you always know Mario. Just check out Mario. You won't be mad at it. Right. So, uh, Flying Air Certified Series, real quick. Mm. I got uh, Invincible. Okay. I got uh, Gen V. Mm-hmm. I got Loki Season 2. Yep. Continental. I got a few. Swarm and Castlevania Nocturne. Okay. Um, all of those are pretty dope. You can see Invincible on uh, Amazon along mm-hmm. with Gen V. Loki Season 2 on Disney Plus. Continental on what is that? Peacock. 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 And Swarm on Amazon and Castlevania on Netflix. Yeah. Right for yeah. everyone. Yeah. Animation, series, superhero shit, killer shit, weirdo shit, vampires. Nice little mix. Nice like little mix. mix. Nice little Nick mix. What about you? You got series? Uh, yeah, for me, uh, Loki season two, uh, Invincible for sure, uh, Swarm definitely, mm. Continental. Uh, even though there's only the first few episodes of this out, I'm going Reacher season two. I got into that. I heard Reacher, some talk. I heard yeah. Some talk. I, like I've told him, and like I've told many other people, this cat Alan Richson has come a long way from being Aquaman Smallville. He has become a total legit badass. I put him up there with Wick. I put him up there you with. He won't be Batman. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm for it. For real? I'm for real. He got the size. He got the physicality. If you see how he acts in Reacher, you'll understand why. And he's done DC stuff before. He's been in uh, Titans. Ah. Yeah, he was Hawk. Oh, yeah, he was dude. Great Titan, okay, dude. yeah. Ah, he can be Batman. Yeah. He already know the ropes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So, James Gunn, if you listen, make it happen, man. Make it happen. So, what you got? Um, I have oh, my... My bad. Real quick, one more. Uh, Chucky Season 3. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Fair. Okay. Um, my number one's probably going to be Loki. I've quite a few. Loki, probably the, maybe the biggest one. Uh, I'm very happy with that one. Loki, Generation V, uh, Superman and Lois, and Adventures of Superman, both shows. Uh, uh, of course, uh, Invincible is also up there also. Yeah. Um, I think I'm missing. Oh, the yeah, of course, Castlevania, mm-hmm. uh, Nocturne, and I think I'm missing one other show, I think an anime show, like one live action anime. I'm brain farting, but those are ones I can think the of right you, now. What is the you you? How do you hot the show? Is it a new show or old show? Uh, I think it's something new. Um, no, I can't one piece is it? Nah, but shout out to One Piece. I heard One Piece is good on Netflix. One Piece is decent. Uh, I'm not a One Piece guy. I never watched the anime, but I heard a lot of good things about the live action. If you have not peeped that, yeah, give that good. a shot. Um, you made and, me watch the anime. Yeah, and, I, and mind you, I'm not a proponent for live action versions of the anime. I'm really, really kind of against they're it. They're kind of getting it now, though, dude. Yeah. I think yeah. That, oh, yeah, I know. The Fine, you, but, yeah. whatever the you, 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 you have to show. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's kind of like acting. I'm like, whoa, even the dude acting like he's nonchalant. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but it's like, yeah. you know, this anime shit, like, yeah. you know, they, they kind of nailed it. Yeah, uh, right, it's a whole other podcast. I think they're kind of learning, too, from what, you know, what they did with yeah. Cowboy Bebop. Yeah. Oh, what yeah, not to do. What what not not to do. do. You don't yeah. overdo it. Don't cornify it. You know, just, just, it is a hard thing to concept. It is a hard thing to conceptualize and to translate on a live cinema basis. It is kind of, I can see how it works and don't work. Right. I it's think some like franchises work. Game movies too. Yeah. I think some franchises work. Other though, I don't believe Dragon Ball Z works live action. No. Ever. Well, that's because of the design of the people. Like, you don't see the yellow hair and all of that. Well, right, right. that too, but like, it just excels animation so much. What will live action give you that's going to satisfy you? Probably nothing. Right. Well, if you could make... Well, I don't no. know. If, if Thanos could throw a moon at a person on cinema, like, you never seen that type of level of action, right? Mm-hmm. But what's what Dragon Ball do? I have a caveat to that. Thanos has only been in animation once. He's in the comic book. They can there's there's a lot more room to realize how to make him live action from the work. For Dragon Ball Z has been animation for for so long, have done so much. I don't think it can properly replicate in live action and make it good because it, it it literally excels in animation. So they do so much crazy stuff, so much cool That's stuff. Goku always level up like a. Gee, he always he god level Goku and all this. Yeah, that's well, that all they do. They excel. They, 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 that's, no, that's no, no, no. The animation excels so much 
I don't think live action needs to replicate it to be good. I don't think it needs to stay in animation. As far as it should go, it's probably 3D in that shit. I don't think it should go live action. Tale. It don't have to be the big, extreme, epic thing. People are gonna be, not going to be satisfied. Yeah. Mm. I just say that right now. Interesting. And quick, so like Goku, like yeah. GT live action. Mm. <laughs> They're not gonna be satisfied. And, no. and quick side so note: I remember back in the Columbia College Game Club days, how if they brought out that uh, atrocious thing known as Dragon Ball Evolution, and I remember our cats were talking about, "Well, man, if they, <laughs> Lord they, have mercy, if they follow the footsteps of a uh, Kung Fu Hustle, you can get a dope uh, live action Dragon Ball." But now, basically, after what you just said, it's like it would be hard to keep up. No, I mean, if it, they did that, it, it is. I, I don't think. I think it was all. All it will offer is just disappointment. Because Dragon Ball Z does does animation so well. Why do you need it to be live action? Right. Okay. All right. So uh, what else? Um, for our TV shows, mm-hmm. um, I watched a lot. What did I watch? Um, I said Gen V, Gen V, yeah. Invincible, um. Yeah, those those are mine. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see what. Else. Oh, uh, please watch Gen V if not. Please watch Gen Yeah, v. watch that because it's definitely dope, really and good. it's going to tie into the boys, and the boys going to tie right back into yeah. Gen V, so they got something to play with. All right, so let's move on to uh, let's do video games first. Right. Video games for me. Um, it was three. I don't really have a top five. It could be a top five, but I don't know. I wasn't too happy with some of the nominations. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> Resident Evil 4 Remake Woo! is um, definitely on mine. Um, Didn't chance to play if I want to. Really bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, Spider-Man 2 uh-huh. is definitely on mine. And, of course, I know he's going to agree. Street Fighter 6, of course. Yes. Um... <sighs> I was thinking, debating, should I put Alan, what's his name? Alan, Alan Wake 2? I don't like Alan Wake. Man. Did you play it? Yeah, I played it. You didn't it. like it? Nah. Okay, that's fair. running from that's shadows fair. and shit. I never, I never like, played it. Was, it. Like, at first it was scary and shit, and now you just learn you running from shadows, and you <laughs> shooting shadows and shit. And the way they designed the game is like the first half, the first intro was dope because you're actually playing the book that he wrote. So you playing as the FBI agent, and then you're going, and she's solving this mystery like clockwork. It's so cold how the game play. Then they flip to him, and then the game just get kind of weird, man. Yeah, I'm running from shadows and shit. I'm like, oh, this shit ain't fucking scary. You even smoked out, man. I'm good, man. I got bored. I started playing Devil May Cry f- uh, 5 and shit. <laughs> yeah, man. Fucked up, man. So, uh, nah, so, yeah, those are my games. Uh, but Street Fighter 6 is definitely... Um, an award winning. Um, it brought me back into fighting games for a minute. I was kind of out of it. I know you always in it, but I was out for a minute. Capcom always bring me back in. Resident Evil 4 Remake. I haven't finished it, but it still was fun to me. I love it. And then, of course, it's Spider-Man 2. It didn't win any video game awards, but it won the Fly Nerd Certification Award. How about that? Damn right, Samia. I'm going to get you an award for Fly Nerd Certified. Spider-Man 2 is the shit. And I can't wait till Wolverine comes so I can say this, give them the same regards. Yeah. So, yeah. moving forward, what you got? E, we got one game, one game only. What's that? Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man. No, Spider Man is definitely, uh, definitely one of my all time favorites. It's probably the best Spider Man game I've played since, like, probably the PS1. Okay. And it's like, I'm so on and that's how. Real talk, cause it's been a lot of Spider Man. Oh, yeah. And I've been such on how on this game because I love not only the mechanics, I love the camaraderie with Miles and Peter. Mm. I love, like, you know, the storytelling that's involved with Peter, Mary Jane, and Harry. Um, Craven is this fool. Craven ain't no joke. Mm. Uh, Venom ain't even more no joke. And, um, yeah, I just love it all around, man. And I I will play it and play it and play it. I'm waiting for updates, DLC, all that. DLC should be coming soon. I thought one was dropping soon with Venom, but, um... I think that got pushed back to next year. Hey, I'm, so I'm we'll fine see. with it. I I'm can't fine. wait. Take your time. I'm fine. Take your time. So, uh, what about you, Mr. Green? 
Oh, wow. I have a lot to say here. Uh, we had a really big year with games this year. Actually, um, we did. Yeah, Spider-Man did. 2 is one of them. Um, that's on my to playlist. Uh, I did play it over your house. I did like what I saw from the opening intro. Mm-hmm. I'm glad, Chauncey, you guys really loved that game. I have a lot of love for the first game and Miles Morales. I want more people to play and enjoy Spider-Man. And Sonic does a great job with that game and that character. Absolutely. Um, I think this is the best Spider-Man game we've had since the Spider-Man 2 game on Xbox. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was probably before the Sony Spider-Man games. To me, that's one of the best Spider-Man games we've had ever with the Spider-Man 2 joint. That's right. real. It was, open world. Sure. it was the first open world Spider-Man game. Mm-hmm. That's real. Um, so yeah, mm-hmm. Spider-Man's up there. Honorable mentions we got this year that are worth playing. If you've never played these games, please give them, give them a shot. One of them is Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Okay. Um, I played Breath of the Wild, and I love Breath of the Wild. I got to get on Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, I know I'm behind. But those games were great. Uh, to me, before I played Tears of the Kingdom, to me, Breath of the Wild was like the best game on Nintendo Switch. Okay. If you bought Nintendo Switch, even if you've never played a Zelda game before, play Breath of the Wild um, and then get into Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, so those, that's on my list for this year. We also had Street Fighter Six, which, which revitalized the FGC community and the Street Fighter community. Mm. It is the best Street Fighter product they've made probably ever, uh, where it gets uh, new people, you get your OGs, you get uh, stuff for your casual audience and your hardcore audience. They need to draw some more characters, everyone. though. Need, oh, no, more characters are coming. Um, we're character. getting DLC probably beginning of next year, because next year we're getting Ed and Akuma. Okay, year. cool. Uh, I'm kind of almost scared to see what Akuma's going to do. Man, uh, Akuma's damage. Because, you know, I think they um, held back on Raul, but they, Ken got them hands. Ant Man, Ken. It's uh, about Ken, brother. Yeah, if Ken's so kind of crazy, Akuma's Akuma going to come done. and level out Raul, and he going to be the. Yeah, he going, man, I can't wait. I think Ryu's kind of Ryu's kind of dope, but I, I think Akuma's gonna be crazy. But I'm wondering if he has the lowest health in the game. I'm wondering because normally Akuma in them prior games he has lots of crazy stuff, maybe some high damaging things, but he always has the lowest health or some of the low health because well, everything that he everything that he can do. Man, if he could teleport back and around the screen, right, 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 right. I'll take it. I mean, yeah. I'm sure you'll have that. It's gonna be I'll more be of like, like, like you gonna have to catch me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm thinking more of what he's gonna do with his. His move sets, how he's going to link things together with Drive Rush and things like that. We got that character coming. We got Ed coming. Okay. They're probably going to announce next year the season two uh, DLC characters. Right now, we have no idea. Uh, we got Capcom Cup happening next year. Uh, Street Fighter Six to me, is a, is a big success for Street Fighter and fighting games in general. Mm-hmm. I got voted best fighting game of the year by the Game Awards, which it totally deserves. So Street Fighter Six, if you have not given a shot, please do. Even the new character I didn't even like her care for, Aki, I had a lot of fun and had to follow her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Aki I got fun. play with her. Yeah, but she's, like you said, characters that you kind of don't like, you play with them, it's still fun. And the game yeah. itself is fun, so check that out. Yeah. Uh, so we got other honorable mentions like Final Fantasy 16. But a lot of big games came out this year. Uh, just really just pick your poison. Uh, those are some things I have to mention. But 2023, we had a lot of great games. Also, Baldur's Gate 3. That's why I told you the Game Awards. I want Spider-Man to win also, but it was just so... The, the competition was stacked. Even I couldn't say who deserved what. There was so many good games out this year. This was a different year. I say Spider Man two all day, but this year but you know what, it was so much good stuff. It's hard. It's hard. hard, hard awards because they 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 trying to celebrify everything, man. And that's the whole thing. Like, I agree cool. with that. That's fine. It's cool who wins and not, but give the devs their respect. You exactly. know, what yeah, I mean? exactly. Give the creators their respect. Give them their time. To accept the awards and say the shits and get the yeah. shits off their chest and say what they have to say. Don't have these yeah. goofy yeah. running stage acts and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. agree. Goofy shit. So yeah, leave that alone. Do a real award show and award the people who's working hard to put this art together. Yeah, absolutely. Because um, we appreciate a fine art certified artist. I haven't played on um, Baldur's Three and any of those. You know, some of them games is not my speed, but um, yeah. much respect to them. Mm. And the games you like, please buy them and enjoy them. Like the games, like Spider Man Two, pay them. Buy physicals too if you can. And buy physical, yeah, buy, buy physical, physical if you can. Buy physicals. I've been kind of lazy, been buying all digitals for the past few games, but um, buy digital because then if you don't like some shit, you can take it back. 
you may get a trade or something, you know what I mean? But it's always good to have the physical, just in case they snatch the shit too, because they PlayStation was doing that bullshit too. Right. So, um, all right, so moving forward, action figures. Corey, what you got? Shoot. For this year? Yeah. My personal favorite, oh God, I'm going to go my big three. It's going to be Ultra Magnus. Mm-hmm. It's going to be Snarl. Okay, okay. Uh, and I'm trying to think of one more. I had a lot. I was going to throw Braun in there. He's one of them, but I have more. But yeah, those two ones I can think of right now. Ultra Magnus, Snarl, the ones I love the most. Yeah, I got Ultra Magnus. He's definitely on mine. Um, he's transforming up there. But um, I we talked about him on previous shows. Fully, fully full Transformer. You know, some Transformers had the backs out and shit. You know, hollow backs and shit. Right. No, this was full figure, full transform. I thought it was going to be bullshit. Because I, I like the separate car. I told you. In, in the trailer thing. But the whole combination of transforming that thing into one, and it looked just like the cartoon. It just, like, dope. Man. Sorry, Scratch Braun, DevCon. Sorry, continue. DevCon. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah, that's on my list. Um, Yo... My motherfucking nigga right here, right here. <laughs> Shade of Toys, y'all did the okay. damn thing, man. My goddamn Raul right here. Where's the other camera? Did you get Chun Li yet? Yeah, I got Chun Li. Okay, so you got all three, okay? Yeah, I got all three. You I know like that. Me, fuck around, get all three. Shout out to him and them. Yeah, here we go. You know I gotta get, get Chun and I gotta get Ryu. Yeah. I got Fei Long. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so Jada Toys, Street Fighter. That's definitely on my list. I got Evil Raul coming at some time. Break that down when he arrives. And um, also, he's on my top two, the Ninja Turtles. These the um, Eastman and Lard NECA version of the original Ninja Turtles from the comic book. Classic joints. Classic joints when all of them are rigged. Yeah. Red bandana for all of them. You know what I mean? So, so um, oh wow, yeah, real thorough shits. So yeah, this these are some of my things for the year. And then there's figures, there's sets, there's the X Men, mm-hmm. the yellow and blue Jim Lee X Men. The old blue. Um, there was some May Mayfex drops. They were on sale. Out. The X Men was just on sale a few times. I had to post. I missed them. I wanted to get some of them. Get them. Yeah, because they're good to have. Um, actually, this we got a lot of good Marvel figures this year. Oh, yeah, yeah. there's a lot. Like yeah. this Blob came out this year. Yeah, this was oh, super beast the Blob. Oh, I beast the Blob. I forgot yeah. his little piece of pie. I always keep in his hand. Did you get the Doom and uh, uh, Captain Mar- not Captain Marvel? Uh, Doom and Photon. Yep, I got yeah. this Doom right here. Yeah. This Doom right here. Boy. Next to Magneto. Oh, God. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Full time. Full time. Yeah. Full time. I, I didn't want this, yeah. Dope. Because um, she got the afro. She looks yeah, like that's what I wanted. Seven. She's dope, man. So, yeah. There's a, been a lot of figures since you brought that up, dude. And this, we got these joints, too, that came out this and year. And then too. this the three spider guy, the three stooges. That's yeah. what <laughs> You got the Toby. You got the um, Andy Garfield. And you got the um, Tom, Tom Holland, Holland Spider Man, along with the Green Goblin, um, Doc, Ock. Doc Ock coming. Yeah. Doc Ock should be his in the mail somewhere. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. So it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot of figures that dropped this oh, yeah. year, but I had fun this year. <laughs> you and me both, time. man. Hasbro did the damn thing. Cost me a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, like, next year is gonna be. Different. Oh, honorable mention, yeah. my uh, Alpha Trion. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, uh, the Orion Pax one I got. Yeah, that no, I mean, is. De- no, Dion and uh, Ariel. Sorry. That's Dion a good yeah, yeah, I, I, got I that. agree yeah. with that. I, yeah. um, that was a good one. Yeah. Um, I wanted that. I didn't grab that. The Orion Pax, I wanted that one as well. Yeah, man, it's so crazy. It's yeah. so nuts, man. I could just pull joints out. This Daredevil I was looking <laughs> yeah, for. Yeah, man. This fucking Daredevil, man. The mask. This is the Ninja Daredevil. And fucking man, I was looking for this. Man, y'all can tell I'm just crazy, man. This is yeah. <laughs> this is what I fuck with, man. The X Men drop, man. It's just a lot, man. So yeah, we could talk days for action figures. Pretty much, that's, right. that's a whole pod it. by itself. Yeah, a whole oh, pod yeah. by itself. That's what I was about to say. So all right, um, moving forward, what about the top fails of 2020? Oh Lord, man. Woo. Good, bad, and the ugly. We gotta talk about some of the ugly. Uh, right. I'm for me. Uh, 
music side, the main thing I can think of besides the trash music is out today. <laughs> I, That's a fail in itself. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a fail yeah, It's got me mentioned yeah. still. I hate to say it. That Buster album. Blockbuster, yeah. Mm. I don't know what the hell you oh. thought of, man. Stick to your lane. Do what you do, Buster. Why? But no, this one is, man. It just wasn't. Who got you for all the shit? Hey, boss, I met you in person. You're a big nigga, man. Don't, don't roll up. On <laughs> <laughs> I seen what you did to Michael Myers, yeah, man. Come on. Yeah, man. I, I see why Michael Myers turned around. No, all due respect. You respect, are a legend. Man. You are a master. <laughs> no one can fuck with the stage show, but don't make music like this, man. You ain't got to make music like this. Continue being the innovative creator that you are. Exactly. And, um, you know, just give us that hip-hop shit that, that we all thrive for. Your name is Buster Rhymes. There ain't nothing else you can do. You know what I mean? Your name, Buster Rhymes. You change your name to your real name, but then you get, you know, get introspective and, you know, right, or, right, right, right. or change your speed up. But, nigga, your name, Buster Rhymes. Woo-ha. Got you all in check. First single. You know what I mean? 1995. Yeah, man. So, let's go. It's cool to attach yourself to the new artists. You know, it's cool to attach yourself to the new artists, but you don't have to mimic. You don't have to uh, cater. You know, you always do you and then bring them into your shit. You know, it's about your work. But, you know, you give the artist a fair shot. I'll give you that, too. But, yeah, slow down, bus. Yeah. Bust a bus. You know, we got bust a bus, man. I play bust a bus, man. Fuck it. So what else? What else you got? I got um I got the Flash. Yep. Flash movie. Oh uh, yeah. That was a fail. Big fail. Uh, I got Secret uh, Invasion. Secret Invasion? Okay. That, that's a good yeah. one. That was on my list. Um uh, let's see. Even though I ain't seen the movie technically, based off the of hearsay and such of reliable sources. Exorcist believer. Oh yeah, that was a that was a, a floater. <laughs> it's uh, called Blumhouse. Stop relying on old franchises and start being original again. That's why A twenty four will come and put the foot on the necks because they want to come and step on you for a second. Mm-hmm. Get it together, man. Um, what else was a blunder? What else you got? Um, I think the issues with MK one. Mm, okay. Oh, that microtransaction crap. Uh, that too, but the game launched, they saved a lot of bugs and problems and kind of bare bones online compared to like Street Fighter VI. Uh, like the game itself is okay, mm-hmm. but as a fighting game product, it was bare bones and had these bugs and these issues and other stuff and the microtransactions. Yeah. And to me, some, some of the story mode and fans did complain about it. So if I put MK1 on my list. Okay. Um, this Palestine War is a blunder. Big time blunder. Yeah. Fail of 2023. Mm-hmm. Um, all these murders and deaths and all that shit. Yeah. All these murders, all that shit. You know, um, people materializing over wealth, over these dumbass celebrities, Googling over these ratchet ass motherfuckers that's going to eventually rot your brain exactly. in the future. All of those are fails to me. Mm-hmm. Um, black people stand on business and do better. Exactly. You know what I mean? Um, PSA to the black man, it hasn't stopped. It hasn't stopped. It hasn't stopped. <laughs> Coaches ain't here. So uh, that don't mean nothing. But, you know, <laughs> we, we loosening up and giving that message out, um, spreading the message out. You know, he, if he was here, he would talk about the comic books and all that shit. Right, right. Well to the PSA to the black man. But um nah, this is this is about it. Um any last words before we wrap it up? Is this uh, uh, one show? one more fail. Uh we had the uh the writers and artists Yes. Yeah. That is yeah. definitely that is definitely I think that's a necessary fail because yeah. you had to um yeah. think about the future with this AI and that's yeah. one thing yeah, AI and all that bullshit. Um, the things that it can, it can, it can do, um, and what it can help. You got, we gotta learn how to live with this. Since it's created, ain't no turning it back. It's like turning the off switch on Ultron or some shit. You can't do it for sure. You know what I mean? So we gotta live with this shit. We gotta learn how to control it. I would say PSA to the black man. PSA to the black man and woman. 
get into programming, get into coding, get into learning how to control, learn the language so you can write the language and speak the language. You know, it's not too many of us into that field. I hear this over and over when I go to conventions about technology and how it needs to be more diverse for us in there as leaders, you know what I mean? So um, getting into that, uh, moving forward next year, we need to be thinking about greater brands, greater aspects and greater, being great beyond yourself, making yourself great and going beyond that. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot of people that we put time and investments in over the years and this year, we hear hearing all these explosions of scandals and disgusting behavior going on with folks. You know what I mean? Like it or not, you know, it is whatever case the case may be, you know, but um, you just got to do right in general. Yes, Moving sir. forward for 2025 and beyond. We're going to be in for some shit, man. We might be furiosa in the next four years. Man, PSA to the black man. PSA. For sure, PSA, for sure. PSA. So any last words before we close out, guys? Any last words? Oh, yeah. Shout out to uh, my fly nerd brethren right here. Yeah. Also, shout out to others, coaches, uh, Amby Warhol. Uh, got shout out to uh, Miss Moxie. Um, also, shout out to many others. Dan, Jada, Phil, Brian, Shannon, um, Bobby, Travis. Uh, everybody else in the uh, FNG community, shout out to uh, my work family, shout out to my immediate family, and just, you know, let's just keep pushing and pushing on, join all this coolness surrounding us, therefore, don't be ashamed to get your nerd on out here, mm-hmm. love what you love, yeah. screw what the, you know, the masses say, yeah. whether, you know, they ain't black like us, or, oh. yeah. Just, ain't just us. Them all ain't us. Cause they're gonna lie, they gonna fucking say some shit to clickbait, they gonna say some shit just to get the popular thing, but they ain't got the fly insight like us. We are the culture, we are the fly nerd group. Absolutely. We're above right. and beyond these little lame ass motherfuckers. And we gonna prove it every, every goddamn time. So any last words for you, Mr. Green? Shout out to me. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh, shout out to you guys and the Fly Nerd Universe and Ambi and Moxie and K Max and Sean and everybody. Mm-hmm. Shout out to IPG and my video game uh, people out there. Uh, my Chicago Land gamers. Uh, Terry Sunny. Fans, Terry Sunny. Cosplayers, gamers, comic book fans, uh, and my friends and family. Uh, everyone have a good holiday. Uh, everyone love what you love. Enjoy things, share them with friends, try new things, always give things a shot. Uh, and, uh, you know, share with your friends and even let me know if stuff that you checked out that I can be aware of that I'm not aware of. And uh, keep the love going and stay safe out there, y'all. One last thing. Hey, I'll put this on all here, Megatron, for you. Right. Hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's not the first volume I'm trying to find all of them. Okay. But um, that's something. You can... Thank you, sir. One more quick thing for all the uh, cowardly cornball keyboard commandos out here. Get him! Get him! <laughs> eat a stunner. Eat a RKO. Get him! Eat a tombstone power driver. Some sweet chin music. Some super kick party. Go through a table. Y'all trying to make a try. What's up? Catch that Megatron head shot like Ironhide. Catch, you know, catch the business like, you know, you was getting whooped on by Willem Dafoe, a.k.a. Green Goblin. What? Peter, 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 Peter. Hey, he had hands, too. Yes, yeah, he did. He had hands, that movie, man. What? So, what's up? What you want to do? What we doing? I'm just saying, just hell with all. Come on, man. Exactly. Fuck them all, man. Exactly. This is just a fly nerd group. We stepping in a new year, new chair, and new new attitude era, man. We keeping that. We keeping the chair with us. We keeping the chair in, so look out for us, man. And we even got to be in Montgomery, Alabama. We ain't even knowing that. We bring the chair there. We fight there. We bring the chair in the ring. Got the brass knuckles in the trunks. <laughs> I'm <laughs> wrapping the chain around and give <laughs> yeah, the old yeah, JBL. Yeah. There you, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we... we yeah, Throwing out yeah. sonic booms. To beat a man, you got to beat the man. Woo! <laughs> so, on that note, man, I'm going to sign out. I'm Cosmo Galactus, the shift leader. Chauncey Woodson, a.k.a. Chauncey's Prime. 
Legendary friendly neighborhood, Corey Green here. We are the Fly Nerds Group team now. Thank you. S subscribe, share, tell your friends, and stay fly. Hit that like button and subscribe. Yes, sir. Talking to you. FNG to infinity. Yes, sir. And beyond. Yes, sir. All true believers. Excelsior. Oh, yeah.